right, how's it going? Uh, this is Paul. It's about 3.25 in the afternoon. And um, I am not feeling so incredibly super duper today uh, because we had a bunch of friends over last night to our friends Keith and Jen's house to have a little uh, party and we drank a bunch of wine out on the porch and it was all nice and celebratory but kind of sad too because today is Devin's and my last day in America before we fly over to Berlin and so that was kind of sad at the party and everything and I, I, I'm wearing these sunglasses because I, I don't think I look very handsome today um, and even though they're not my favorite style of sunglasses I appreciate my friend Keith loaning them to me and I do believe that it sort of beats the alternative um, Anyhow, so when I woke up today, I wasn't sure what the hell to do with myself. Um, it's our last day, I'm kind of hungover, and um, I thought really the only sensible thing probably to do would be to go skydiving. Got stuck behind a truck on these country roads, and now I am late. Uh, I was supposed to take 30 minutes, and it's taken an hour. Oh, everything is going to shit. Oh, woe is me. Where is the airport? I found it. Aquista El Aeropuerto. Oh my lord, everyone driving slow. Ah. There's a cow. Sometimes it's going to speed up on you a little bit. Dude, it can kill the descent rate to almost zero, but if you try to run that out, as good as that guy is with 11,000 jumps, he couldn't stand her up, okay? So on a day when there's no wind to kill that forward speed, we're not going to be standing up. If you get lucky, and you get a little bit of forward, or get a little bit of headwind, then uh, sometimes they'll stay at the last second. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Today I wouldn't count on it, not just yet. Okay, good. And those are pretty good landings for a no wind day. Get in the circle, you guys. <laughs> All right, you guys. So let me get your attention, focus back up. Hang away. Uh, he is and my godson is Sweden, and Jeff showed up. Just to see him fall from the sky, because the sky is falling. And oh. I'm going to go a tandem with my friend Kevin. Yay! <laughs> awesome. We are. We're going to punch a hole in the sky. We're going to punch a hole in the sky. We're going to fall right out of it. Are you nervous for your godfather? Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you shaking? <laughs> I go back and look at what they look like. Now. Hit the play button. <laughs> Good one, Eden. No, no, oh, yeah. no, no, I don't want to do that. Good one. You did exactly what you wanted to do with me. You want to hold it? Go <laughs> the landing area, supervisor. There, okay, so now go back to that. Pretty cool. But I was just here. <laughs> yeah, it is. So he has two people. There's two people. That's what I'll be doing. So, I've been bumped, sort of, uh, but it's been an, it's sort of nice. Um, the man who I'm going to go tandem with is a friend, and, uh, and then the, one of the other instructors um, who does some of the camera work, um, he's a fan, I guess, and so he's going to shoot me for free. Um, but it means I have to wait for three more plane loads and the weather looks okay, looks pretty good. There's a storm over in Waynesboro. 
So I'm really rolling today, so I'm really going to kick myself if I can't do it today. But I don't know. It seems worth it in order to get the video. So that's where we're at. Mm. It is the next. I'm next. So this is me in my Scooby Doo outfit. Uh, this is my altimeter. I am a little concerned because I think that uh, one of my testicles is on one side of this thing and the other is on the other side. And I just generally like keeping them in like the same area code. So, but nonetheless, I'm sure that that'll, that's fine. Um, anyway, so they bumped me up now, so I'm going a little sooner. I'm going to get to video it. And uh, I'm not nervous at all. And I'm pretty nervous when we get up there, I bet. But anyway, that's the story. guy Paul Carreri, right? Not that famous. Famous enough that I know you. Yeah. Good to see you again. I'm Lambert. Nice to Welcome meet you. Welcome to Scott Lambert. of Orange. Did your friend Kevin talk you into this stupidity? No, no, no. It was my friend Cat Harrington. I know Cat Harrington very well also. Yeah. Sweet. So you've never done this before? No. Are you freaking out at all? Not yet. No, no. Just gonna no, maybe once we're standing on the edge. It's usually when it kicks in. <laughs> you ready to go give it a try? Absolutely. Here we go. All right. Tried to downplay it with a bet about us. He said that you'd take it as long as I could. I could not erase it. And I
nice landing, man. How did that go, my friend? Oh, my heaven. <laughs> did you enjoy that? I loved it. It was a lot more exhilarating than I thought it was going to be. It's crazy, isn't it? Woo! Well, you glad Cat talked you into that? Absolutely. It was great. Nice. Holy moly. <laughs> High five or a hug for the guy behind you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank that you, was man. so Yep, absolutely, man. Enjoy jumping with you. We'll see you next time. Well, we did it. We did it. It's over. I'm driving home. They even gave me two beers. It was really nice. Just a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic experience. Uh, many, many thanks to Kevin and Lambert. Uh, just fantastic. So, back I go to Keith's to go to bed and wake up early, drive to Charlottesville where my mom is going to pick Devin and I up. And Kim is going to my mom and Kim are going to pick Devin and I up. And, uh, and then we go to Berlin with our cat. Great last day. Hope you're doing well.